Do you know that God loves me and you in spite of any wrong that we do? Do you know that God loves me and you in spite of any wrong that we do? When Jesus laid down his life, he loved us in spite of. He showed us that we could love in spite of. God's love is unconditional, which means that he loves us no matter and regardless of any wrong that we do. God is going to love me and he's going to love you regardless of any wrong that we do. Most of us sin against God on a regular basis, but his love never changes. He loves me and he loves you in spite of any wrong that we do. <laughs> but what about you? <laughs> is your love unconditional? Is your love unconditional? Do you love others in spite of what they do or any wrong that they do to you? God made us. He made us, formed and shaped us in his image. Uh, so we certainly have the capacity to love in spite of, but how do you express that? You yourself, how do you express that to other people? How do you give love to other people when they've done you wrong? How do you show love to other people when they've done you wrong? How do you express love to other people when they've done you wrong? Greetings, brothers and sisters, I'm Pastor Keith bringing you another few minutes a day to help you keep walking the right way. Today's lesson is love in spite of. Love in spite of. Now, you may hear it described or referenced as uh, loving people from a distance, or you may hear it uh, referred to as loving your enemy. So, however you receive it, or however you believe it, uh, love in spite of gives you power over the enemy. Love in spite of pushes you past the problem. Love in spite of gives you the victory. Family members hurt us all the time, but that gives us the opportunity to love in spite of. You even have some friends that will say things that aren't true about you and that gives you the ability to respond with love in spite of. <laughs> church members, <laughs> yeah, I said it, church members even gossip. Yeah, they gossip about things they think they know about you. But you, you are to respond with love in spite of. To love in spite of gives you a maturity in your walk with Christ that most people never reach. Most people never reach that kind of love or that kind of level of maturity in their walk with Christ. To love in spite of shows that you have chosen to take the high road while others are still walking on the low road. To love in spite of makes you the winner and never the loser. When you love in spite of, forgiveness steps in to help set aside that sin. Then mercy gets on board to help usher in the Lord. Huh, but that's not all, because grace follows suit to get rid of and eradicate that sin's root. It eradicates that sin's root, but it all starts not at the root, it starts with love. Love, then forgiveness, then mercy, then grace. Love in spite of. See, love in spite of never acts alone. It activates forgiveness and mercy and grace 
And it does so simply because you have chosen to be Christ-like in your action. And that, brothers and sisters, causes a chain reaction. And it does what it does to fix the interaction between you and whoever did whatever to you. So love in spite of, love in spite of, love in spite of. Stop seeking revenge, stop carrying that burden, and stop walking around with the hurt. Release it all today, right now today. Release it all, brush it off, let it go right past you. Release it today and choose to love in spite of. I'm Pastor Keith bringing you another few minutes a day to help keep you walking the right way. May God bless you, and may he keep you today and always, in Jesus' name.